Hi, this is Brittany Drozd, and welcome to another opportunity to be your best self. Do you ride around on a Harley, get into bar fights, do daredevil things? Or do you thrill seek by skydiving, driving fast cars, and staying up way too late partying? If you do, if you answered yes, then you are definitely living on the edge. I mean, you are living on the edge so far, like I don't actually think you should be living that far on the edge. But I want to talk to you about a different definition of living on the edge. A definition that can actually serve you and enhance your life instead of maybe, you know, put you in trouble uh, with the law. <laughs> so I define living on the edge by finding that really thin line between fear and excitement. You know, that place where your heart is racing, your palms are sweaty, but your mind is super focused in. That place where your senses are really heightened and you could lift a car off an old lady. But most of us don't live from that place all the time. Most of us are kind of riding by. We know what, you know, I'm talking about when I say those things, but you really aren't in that place most days. Some of you are, and that's awesome, and you should do your own blog post about it, definitely share it with others. But for you, those of you who aren't, don't worry, I won't tell anyone. You gotta work. You gotta work to identify what that edge even is, how to get to it, and how to stay there. But if we're going through life disengaged, not really giving a damn, and feeling like our role isn't important, then we're definitely not going to work hard to try and find that edge and live on it. In fact, most of us even think when I say living on the edge that I'm talking about that daredevil thrill-seeking guy. But I'm talking about someone who lives on the edge and makes it work for them. So how can you have this? How can you make that work for you? I'm going to ask you three key questions that are going to help you identify what your edge is, get there, and stay there. So pay attention. Question number one, what drives you? This is a tough question because we can't always access that answer right away. And sometimes it's different for different things. But often we have some big ticket, you know, things that are driving us that uh, doesn't really work well. Money, parental approval that we can never outrun for some reason. These motivators, these drivers, are not going to be sustainable. They're not going to be enough to push you to that edge and keep you there. It may work for a little while. You may know people so driven by money um, that, that they are living on their edge of pushing themselves and developing themselves, either in their career or otherwise. But that dies off. And when it does, there's not a bundle of happiness at the end of it. Those motivators do not create happiness in your life. Question number two, how do you keep yourself safe? This question may throw you off and again you may not know the answer right away, but I want you to think about where do you say no to things? Where do you say no to your own personal growth and development? Where do you say no to the thing that's going to push you outside of your comfort zone? That is you keeping yourself safe. If you said yes to whatever that is, is you're going to take a risk. You may fail. And uh, we don't want to do that. So we keep ourselves safe. So answer that question honestly. What do you do to keep yourself safe? And question number three, what would you do if you knew you could not fail? This question is key because this is the question that identifies your edge. This is the thing that you would go after if we could eliminate all the risk for you. So what would it be? What would you do if you could not fail? These questions all together give you the answers for what your edge is, getting there, and staying there. Answering these questions, now I can't guarantee that's going to take you to your edge, but it's going to open your door and open your eyes to seeing what that might be like for you. 
and help you create the steps to get there. Most of us don't take the steps to go to our edge because we don't even know what they are. That idea is so overwhelming and out there. So here it is. Answer those three questions and those are your first steps. So again, what drives you? How do you keep yourself safe? And what would you do if you couldn't fail? Write those questions down. Write the answers down. Share them in the comment section of this video. Share them with someone that you care about that you think can help you with this. If you liked this video or any others and have found them helpful in any way, share them with the people that you love, tweet about them, Facebook, hashtag them, but just get it out there because we all deserve to have a life that we love and be our best selves. Thanks for watching.